Hello everybody, this is Fuzzfinger and thank you for tuning in. This is our brand new Let's Play for Tales from Space Mutant Blobs Attack. This is a sequel to the original Tales from Space uh, from Drinkbox and it has recently been released today in fact on Steam. So we're going to give it a go with our new Let's Play and it was of course on the Vita for those of you who have played this before. Uh, I myself have and I loved it. It's a bloody awesome game, it really is. And the basic concept is that there's six worlds and for each of those worlds you play a mutant alien blob from space. At least I presume it's from space since that's what the title is. And the general idea is it's a platforming game as you can see. You have to eat as much junk as you can to grow in size and that will allow you to access certain parts uh, of the level. Now, like I mentioned, there is six worlds, and there's about six levels per world. So it's not a huge game. So we've hit our target size now. But yeah, these blue things just give you points. They don't actually help you grow. So as I was saying, it's not a huge game. It is uh, only a few pounds or a few dollars to buy on Steam, though. So if you haven't played this on the Vita, uh, I highly recommend you take a look at this game, since it's a whole load of fun. It really is. It isn't hard, in my opinion, at least not to begin with. I haven't actually completed it on the Vita, I think I got to about World 5 or 6. But uh, from what I've seen so far, it's not a terribly difficult game. And that will just tell me to slam in order to break things. Uh, I am of course using a 360 controller. Probably the only way to play this in my opinion is with a controller. I did give it a quick try without, but it was a bit hard, so... Uh, and somehow we died then. Don't ask me how, but that does happen. Just grab some of these blue things, try and get our score up a little bit. As you can see, we're not very big at the moment. You can see those college students in the background walking around as college students do. But in a few levels time, we will be pretty massive. I don't want to spoil it for you, but yeah, you'll be eating people amongst other things. So, again, this is the only way to go. If you look under our health bar at the top, you can see like two black blobs. They're not lives or anything. What they are is basically saying how many... Try and squeeze that, that's a tight squeeze. Uh, how many of the secret blobs on this level you found. They're like friends of you, the mutant blob. You can see one just over there. And when you collect one, uh, it, it basically turns that black blob, blob up there into a coloured one. You don't have to collect them to complete the level, but I'm sure it's an achievement for getting them all, so we'll certainly be getting as many as we can. And there is one up there, but we can't reach it yet because we're not quite big enough to jump, I don't think. So we're going to eat some of this stuff. Now, as you can see, we can't eat these cups and this baseball simply because we're not big enough yet to absorb it. But... We will be round about now, in fact. So if we go back, jump down here, that'll take us to the exit. We can now eat those cups and that baseball. And hopefully, we should now just about be big enough to jump up there. We will be. If I can just time it right, there we go. And it looks like we've managed to get it stuck. Oh, there it is. Awesome. Let's see what we've got through here. Ah, there was the secret blob as well. We missed it. Darn it. Now, I could go back and collect them if I wanted to, but I don't. So, I won't bother for now. Instead, we'll move straight on to level number two. We're still in the college world, of course. Just make sure there's nothing secret hiding around here. And there isn't, so... I don't normally do Let's Plays of indie games, to be honest. But I had so much fun with this in the Vita, I had to share it with you guys. I really did. And that's why I'm really happy they brought it out on Steam, because there's no easy way to record your gameplay footage off the Vita. And that thing will squash you if you get caught in it, so... Try and be careful. Uh, 
we need to get a little bit bigger before we can go through there. Those things are like a checkpoint, uh, but they also restore your health as well if you've lost any. Oh, there we go. And now we're at the required size, but there is some more stuff to collect, I think. See if we can just time this right. There's probably a couple of secrets up there, which is why it's hard to get up there. You don't have to, as I mentioned. But it'll be nice if we can. Let's go from this side. Ah, that didn't work, did it? Oh, don't we get in somewhere? Yes, and it's a friend. I beg your pardon, they're grey before you collect them and then they turn black. Yes, I had actually, just, just before I started recording, to get everything set up right, uh, done the first level before. And there's a big red laser coming down, so you want to try and avoid that and those yellow things. What are they? I have no idea. But they hurt, so avoid them at all costs. Oh, and there's another little person down there which we'll try and rescue when we can. If we can. Although not before we've collected some of them. Just keep bouncing down and there we have it. That wasn't too hard at all. We've got both our friends again on this level. Now on the Vita, these bridge things you can see with the green circle in them, you drag them with your finger on the touch screen. Since we're not on the Vita, we'll see how to do this. Use the left mouse button. Okay. Ah, so we've got the mouse as well as the controller. Fair enough. Uh, that's probably why it's been released on Steam and not on the PlayStation Network or an Xbox Live Arcade. Since there's no way to use the controller to do the touchscreen stuff, which is fair enough. Is that the end of the level? No. Oh, stuff we missed then. Ah. Yeah, we'll collect them. And them. And that. And that should be enough to get us through there. And big scary laser coming. As you can see, we are getting a little bit bigger. Try not to get hit by some of those missiles. Oh, oh can we get them? No, we can't. Uh oh, uh oh, we're dead. That was me, that is trying to get a little bit too much. Let's move a bit faster now. Yeah, I know we're not getting everything, but there's some stuff at the end I would like to collect. Can we get in? Can we get in? Yes, we can, just about. Can we get them? Yes, we can. Yeah, that's it. And we've got to the end, and we got a gold medal for that. Awesome. So I would say that level is well and truly completed. Online rank of 9. That might sound good to be in the top 10. But as I mentioned, this game has just been released. So, uh, let's go for the third level. Since we seem to be in the swing of things at the moment. If you've got Steam, uh, you've got a computer. You don't need like an excellent computer to play this game then I would highly recommend if you like platforming games that you have a look at this since it's really only a few books so you can't go wrong and I've got to use the mouse. Let's try and get up there shall we? Actually before we do that let's move this thing across. Hmm. See if we can get up. Ah! I've got an idea. There we go. If in doubt, just use them to swing yourself up. Oh, we threw them. We missed some stuff as well. Didn't even mean to go through them. Hopefully we haven't missed rescuing one of our mutant blob friends. Hmm, that's annoying. We can't actually uh, eat, this, eat these cans and stuff. Maybe we'll be able to come back to it shortly. I hope so, anyway. Oh, 
Right then, let's turn this. Think we'll be able to make that jump? Oh, I think so, quite easily. Yes, we can. Let's go down there, and we're dead. Yes, we're dead. Right, so the trick is not to try and control your mutant blob while you've still got the mouse in your hands. Right, then turn that. It does feel a little bit weird using the mouse rather than the touchscreen on the Vita, but it's not too bad to be fair. Oh, let's not move that one just yet until we're up there. Now, perhaps, mm, we can't move that one just yet, can we? Don't want to fall off the edge, but if we can move it over there, then we probably should move it over there. Anything over here? Any secrets or anything? I think that's the way we need to go, so let's move this one. Ah, gotcha. Oh, right, okay. Yes, we've got a friend over there. There we go. We got our first friend, and I think we might have missed one, so I don't know if we're getting any more of this level. At least not on this visit. Let's just try and... It's a little bit fiddly. Grab that. I am just trying to cowboy it a little bit. I've got the mouse in my right hand and the controller in my left, the analogue controller. Oh, now we're flying. Let's go down here, grab all these blue things to add to our score. And all of them. There's lots of little tributes and jokes around on the uh, billboards and the posters and the pictures and stuff in the background, so keep an eye on them as well. Ah, and there's our second friend look. Right then, so we didn't miss anything which was good. There's a toilet there, I don't think we can go in it. Uh, actually we can, but I'm not sure, oh, of course that's the toilet we went through at the start wasn't it? Ah, so we didn't miss anything. We're exactly where I thought we were supposed to be earlier. Awesome. Right then, let's go over here. Yeah, these are college students, if you're wondering why they just seemingly just do not care that there's a weird mutant blob thing flying around in front of them. Ah, don't miss them too. Eyeballs, lovely. And we've just got to the right size now to go through here. Open the cork. I did see some more stuff to collect up there, so I'm not sure if we'll be going back up there or not, but it's time to move. I won't move about collecting all of them. I'd rather get through in one piece rather than risking uh, my life for just a couple of them. Oh, power boosting. And I only just made it, even with the power boosting. Get them, get them. And we got the gold. And our online rank for that one was 11th. Uh, and we've got this secret level. Well, not a secret level, but a different style of level for the uh, next go. So I think we'll save that for the next episode. Uh, three levels is good enough for now, I think. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this. Let me know in the comments. Please rate it up and subscribe to the channel if you want to support me. I'd really appreciate it. Until the next episode, thank you very much for joining me. I've been Fuzzfinger, and bye for now.